Okay, Whew. right, let's see, next one now. Anne is investigating factors of different numbers. First, she looks at numbers that can be written as a power of prime numbers. List the five different factors of two power four. Okay, well, that's that's fine. It's two, um, two squared. Well, I guess you can count one. So two power zero, two power one, two power two, two power three, and two power four all divide into this. Okay, well, you, you see what's happening here in, in part two. Um, so this had five because of zero to four. So this would have eight. Three zero to three seven. Work out how many different factors three, two ten times three twelve have. And that's interesting one. So two ten times three power twelve. This has eleven. This one would have thirteen. And then because the prime factorization theorem, uh, the multiplications here are always unique. So it's just eleven times uh, thirteen, which is what's that? One one four three is it? Let me check. Eleven times thirteen. Yeah, one four three. Okay, uh, B part one. She makes a table to show the pairs of factors of 12. That is the pairs of natural numbers X and Y with X, Y equal 12. Complete the table below. Okay. So it's numbers and multiply to get 12. Okay, so that would have to be 12, 6, 2, 12. Uh, what else? Oh man, I'm tired. Four, uh, four, three, right? One, two, three, four, six, 12. One, two, three, four, six, six, 12. Plot the six, plot these on a coordinate time. Okay, let's start. What ones have they done? Three, three, four they've done. Okay, one, twelve, two, six. 3, 4, 4, 3, 6, 12, uh, no, 6, 2, and 12, 1, 1, 12, 2, 6, 3, 4, 4, 3, nothing for 5, 6, 2, and then 12, 1. Ava realized that the relationship between x and y is y equals 12 over x. On the coordinate diagram, draw that graph y equals 12 over x in the domain of 1 to 12. So, oh, it's just a curve connecting them up from 1 to 12. Okay, there we go. A tangent curve is drawn at the point p, 12 over p, where... Um, this show that the oh just find the find the tangent at the point p okay well that that's no problem so you have y equals 12 over x the derivative here bring down the power and reduce the power by one um so the the slope would be minus 12 over p squared so the tangent line is so sorry this is c part one here the tangent line is y minus y1, which is 12 over p, equals m times x minus x1. And what form do I need it like this? Okay. Um, y equals minus 12 over p squared x plus 12 over p 
plus 12 over p so that's that's 24 over p nice oh nearly finished super question the area of the triangle formed by the x-x and the y-axis and the tangent line is that is always k squared units where k is constant work out the value of k Interesting. What do we know about P? P is real and positive. The area of the triangle formed by the tangent is K square units where K is a natural number. Okay, so imagine like there's some tangent line here and you, you draw the, the, the tangent line here. The, I'll have to make some space over here. The area, so this is C part two, uh, would be the height, which would be this guy here, when x is zero, 24 over p, times uh, the base, which is the intercept, which you get by solving when y is zero. So if y is zero, you have 12 over p squared x, equals 24 over p we can cancel the p's out here we can divide by 2 so that x would equal 2p so 24 over p times 2p is the area um oh and, and i forgot to multiply by a half a half the base by the height so huh that's not quite what I expected to happen. It's 24. Wasn't expecting 24, so I've done something wrong here. Maybe it was getting the X. Okay, the area is a half the base, and the base we want to find the the x here so that's the y is zero so if i take this to the left that's 12x over p squared equals 24 over p i can cancel that with that i can divide that into that 24 divided by 12 is 2 i can bring the p up so x is 2p so a half the base which is 2p times the height when x is 0, the height is 24 over p. The 2's cancel, and the p's cancel. There's 24, but it's always k square units, where k is a natural number. Work out the value of k. Ah! It's not a natural number. Now, what has gone wrong? Maybe math software time. If it opens. The area of the triangle formed by the x-x and the y-axis and the tangent line, which is given, is always k units, is always k square units, where k is, oh, hmm, okay, okay, it's always k square units, so it's just always a natural number, so it's not a square number, That that's my misunderstanding, k, yeah, so k is 24, which is a natural number. Okay, I've just misunderstood the square. So it's, it's saying it's 24 units squared. That's the K. The P is, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Apart from that misunderstanding, I thought that was a nice question. <laughs>